हॅलो वी आर ॲट महाबळेश्वर गुरेघर दिस इज अ पॅच वेअर फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट हॅज मेड लॉट ऑफ प्लांटेशन्स से फॉर्टी इयर्स बॅक फिफ्टी इयर्स बॅक अँड फ्यू ऑफ द स्पीसीज दे सिलेक्टेड वेअर पायनस द द बेसिकली अ टेम्परेट स्पीसीज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड हिअर सो वी हॅव विथ अस डॉक्टर रोहन शेट्टी हु इज गोइंग टू टेल अस हाऊ टू टेक डेंड्रोक्रोनॉलॉजी सॅम्पल्स ऑफ दीज पायनस ट्रीज वेलकम रोहन थँक यू so he has a borer with him this is one of the um, increment borer uh, it has got three parts one is the handle second is the actual borer and uh, the third is the slider um, so when you choose a tree uh, firstly uh, look at the location of the tree um, see where it is placed on the slope uh, you always want to uh, bore parallel to the slope and perpendicular to the tree uh, so that uh, you avoid uh, single sided compression or tension wood um usually take the bore at uh, breast height so that it's so easier to rotate so where we take gbh basically gbh mm. exactly dbh like diameter at breast height slowly insert the borer in so pinus is comparatively a soft wood yes pinus is a soft wood uh hardwoods like oak and maple are fairly tedious to bore you just move the borer in so this needs lot of physical skills uh, a little bit not much mm-hmm. so like what the length you want to reach uh ideally so how much deep ideally uh, you must aim for the pit so that uh, if you reach the pit that is basically you have reached the center of the growth now the center of the growth uh, to your bark is the radial distance so reaching the pit is enough information for you to collect the wood sample at so let me try it out yes sure still three more turns in one two Now you have reached a considerable depth. Depth, correct. Just to be sure how much depth you have reached at, this length is the same length as the borer. You can very easily place the marker on this side and you can see the distance to, uh, through, uh, through to which the borer has reached. There you are. correct now two turns out one complete two complete correct that's it then now i have to slowly take this out yes but in one single shot uh, to make sure not to put the borer back in. wonderful really that's a borer now we will slowly place this in a straw and label it by uh it's a uh, gps coordinates and yeah so what this in, what information this will have uh this will have many levels of information first and foremost uh, uh every ring is a composite of two parts one is known as early wood second is known as late wood um early wood is uh where the ring comes to an end late wood is uh, where the ring has begun so uh, every year when the cambial activity comes to an end the tree creates a bark and that is where your um, early wood comes to an end and uh, hard meristem is formed um, and so th- um, firstly you can know the age of the tree second is the rings also known as intraannual density fluctuations in terms of dendrochronology so just to interrupt yes. are these annual rings or growth rings uh, now for uh, tropical trees usually they are growth rings because the tree is growing all across the year but for temperate species ideally they should be annual rings because the tree is accustomed to make one ring per a year okay now what is the behavior in this particular tree and uh, this particular tree in this geographical context is something that we have to research wonderful so Thank now you. you are going to place this in the straw yes carry it and analyze it correct that is how it is could you hold this for a second yes. please so that was about how to take dendrochronology samples thank you for watching